Hey all, welcome to Edwinus channel. Today we are going to see about Mpox. What are its causes? How can we prevent the spread of Mpox? Nowadays we are seeing a lot of news about Mpox in the media. So let us dive into the topic. The Mpox is caused by monkeypox virus. It belongs to the family of orthopox viruses. Different orthopox viruses include variola virus that causes smallpox which has been eradicated and the cowpox and vaccinia virus. Let us see some facts about Mpox. So the monkeypox was discovered in monkeys in 1958 at Denmark. The first human case was reported in 1970 at Democratic Republic of Congo. There has been two clades of viruses has been identified. Clade 1 which includes subclades 1A and 1B and clade 2. So the disease was initially called monkeypox. Later its name was changed to Mpox in 2022. In July 2022, the WHO or the World Health Organization has announced it as a public health emergency because it has spread to more than 100 countries. So the most people affected are gays, bisexual, men who have sex with men, women, transgenders, children, health worker and patients with HIV or sexually transmitted infections or STIs. Now let us see how monkeypox is transmitted. It can be transmitted from humans to human or it can be transmitted from animals to human. So the animals include rodents, rats and squirrels. Let us see the human to human transmission. Human to human transmission can be direct or indirect. So the direct transmission can be contact with the body fluids, sex and respiratory droplets. Indirect mode of transmission can include contact with the contaminated objects, contaminated sharps or needles and vertical transmission that is from mother to the child. So the animal to human transmission can occur by hunting, trapping, or people handling the meat or animals harboring the virus or by consumption of them. Incubation period, the time needed for the virus to enter the human body and to start symptoms can range from 5 to 21 days. So the natural host is unknown and high risk groups include children, pregnant women, immunocompromised patients, people with untreated or uncontrolled HIV. So the signs and symptoms is characterized by an invasion period of 0 to 5 days which is characterized by fever, back pain, myalgia, fatigue, lymphadenopathy and headache. The rash occurs 1 to 3 days after the onset of fever and it is, uh, starts on the face and spreads to limbs and trunk. The rash starts as macules, the lesions with flat base which then progresses to papules, the lesions with the firm base and it then progresses to vesicles, the lesions clear, filled with the clear fluid and then it progresses to pustules, the lesions with yellowish fluid and then it crusts off. So the rash can appear on face, conjunctiva and cornea, oral mucous membranes, mouth and throat, palms and soles of the feet, genitalia, rectum, now let us see how can we distinguish chickenpox, measles and monkeypox from each other. In monkeypox, the rashes like macules, papules, vesicles and pustules appear at the same stage on any, on any area and the classic feature is lymphadenopathy. In chickenpox, the macules, papules and pustules will be present in several stages and the classic feature is itchy rash. In measles, the rash is non-vesicular in different stages and the classic feature is coplic spots that appears in the mouth. Now let us see how can we identify monkeypox. So the best specimen for sample collection or laboratory diagnosis is from the lesions, skin, fluid or crust. If there are no skin lesions present, swabs can be collected from the anus or the throat. The virus is identified by nucleic acid test by polymerase chain reaction. So let us see the management and treatment. The treatment is mainly aimed at supportive management. Pre-exposure prophylaxis can be given to patients who are at high risk and it includes Mpox vaccine. And post-exposure prophylaxis also can be given with Mpox vaccine within, if the person is within 4 days of contact or it can be given up to 14 days if their person is asymptomatic. So as a healthcare personnel, when you are caring for a patient with monkeypox, you should follow standard contact and droplet precautions. You should use appropriate personal protective equipment. You should follow the 5 moments of hand washing. You should ensure that the patient with monkeypox is properly isolated at the hospital. You should ensure that the waste disposal is appropriate for the patient. 
and you should ensure the environmental decontamination is correct and that's all with the monkey pox see you with the next video thanks for watching if you like my video please do like and subscribe thank you mm -hmm.